Good morning. You can tell we're in full packing mode, full stress mode when Julie's like, Oh, my arm hurts and my back hurts. No, that's because I, I went to the water park and yesterday. I'm getting old. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> and, and we're not in full packing mode. I'm curling my hair here. Who curls their hair when they're in full packing mode? This girl does. I am. Girl's got a curl, you know, that's what they say. Well, we got a full fun day ahead of us, so let's get it going. You know what? We have a lot of new viewers here as well. So thank you and welcome to our channel. I think we need to do a little update, recap, kind of who we are, what we're doing, why we're doing things the way we're doing. So keep watching today's video and we will jump into some of those, like, questions. I wish I could take the credit for weeding this. I should have showed you the before. Well, that gives you an idea of what the before looked like. But this was all Landon's doing. He dumped my flower pots out and replanted the flowers for the new owners. Yes, I am bringing my flower planters. And I think the kids are pretty excited that this is the last time they have to deep clean the chicken coop. I never do it, so I don't care. Um, but that's what they're doing today. Are any other people moving out of their home, leaving a perfectly clean chicken coop, painted and patched walls, planted flowers. That's like, literally what I'm doing right now is painting the walls. I know, it's like, are we being too nice? To Trust me, when Landon started pulling weeds, I was like, what are you doing? I was like, no, 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 no. We have tons of other things on our list of things to do today and pulling weeds is not one of those. He's nicer than I am. So we're to that point in packing where we've gone from room to room and packed up most of this stuff over the last couple weeks, but now we're to the point where it's like game time. We are moving in a few days and we need to just finish everything off. I was trying to find a place to film where there was a decent place in the background and literally every background of my house is a disaster. Well, the good old couch and white wall is just going to have to do again. So like I mentioned earlier, we are just going to give you a little quick rundown of who we are, what we're doing here. That way, if you are new to our channel, you kind of have an idea of what we're up to. So should we start from the very beginning? Sure. It might be kind of fun. And we'll just throw pictures in front of this and just quickly go along the timeline. Back in 2006, which is when we met working as CNAs, at an assisted living center called Stony Brook, and it was the cutest little little old place with old people. That's where we started working together and realized we are just really compatible. I graduated high school, he went on a mission to Finland, and we wrote handwritten letters for two years, and that is how we got to know each other. And when he came home in 2008, in July, August, we got engaged in October and yep. married in December. Yep. And here we are, 16 <laughs> years later. Well, 15, something like that. Landon did his undergrad at Weber State University. I became a nurse. We had worked at the hospital for a while together. And then we had Emma, and then we had Cooper. And literally two weeks after we had Cooper, Landon got into medical school, so we moved out to Missouri, <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri, for medical school. So I did two years of medical school out there. Um, a lot of people have asked, well, why didn't you finish? And it was a combination of me not doing super well despite my best efforts. Um, I'm an awful dean that was not great and just they the had circumstances. They changed the curriculum. Yeah. And not to like point fingers at the school or anything because it was just a mixture of everything. Yep. And looking back at that, it just was a blessing that he was done with it. Yep. That he didn't do well in it. And it's funny because there's a lot of smart doctors out there that have terrible bedside manners. Landon was smart. He was good. He's got good people connection and, but when it came to testing, he just didn't tough. do so well. Mm -hmm. So, so I was actually doing medical school and a master, a master's in business at the same time. So when I was done with med school, I just went full time to finish up my master's in business and use that a little bit out in Kansas city while we lived there but I knew I wasn't quite done. So I came back, we moved back to Utah six years ago. Well, so we had Porter during oh, all yes. of this. Yes. 
he actually started to repeat the second year of medical school. We had Porter and that's kind of when it all just like fell away. And that's when we started vlogging. And so that's some of our first vlogs was when we had Porter. Um, he was managing a dermatology office. And then about two years after we had Porter, we moved back to Utah. And BYU said, if you want to do a PhD, PhD, you have to have a scientific master's degree. So that's why it's taken us so long because he jumped through their hoops and got a master's degree at BYU. Brigham Young University in Provo. And then he got into the PhD program doing exercise science health promotion. So now I'm wrapping up my PhD and three the, years later. It's been yeah. three years. That's fast to Pretty do a fast PhD. For a PhD. Yeah. Um, and so when you do a PhD, you typically have two options. You can, or a couple options. You could go into an industry and help research there. You could go teach at a university or you can go into a fellowship to be more advanced in your research. And so that's what I've chose to do. I've chose to go to back to Kansas actually is where it just coincidentally ended up. But we're, they have a great team out there that's doing research right up my alley. And so we decided to do a fellowship that's a two year fellowship in research. What have we learned along the way? Oh boy. Well, there's a lot of people that come to us for advice knowing that we have changed careers, changed directions. Um, and you'd be surprised how not uncommon that is. How yeah. many people need to go through that. And so we've talked to a lot of people who are going through that same transition. And some of the best advice I think we give them is to just work. Just be prepared to work and get through it. I mean, take the next best step and see what God has in store for you and you'll get through it. Yeah, we definitely don't ever look at our years in Missouri or the medical school years and think, gosh, that was a waste of time no. because it's helped him in the career that he has chosen now because it's still along the lines of learning the human body. And so it's just helped him. It helped us together become closer and just humble us down a little bit. So learn, learn to experience some hard stuff. Yeah. So PhD school is no joke. It is very busy. What are some of your tips and tricks on getting through a PhD program? Have a rock star wife. That's me. That's <laughs> That's honestly when people are like, how do you do it? How do you run a YouTube channel and have five kids and a do house. a PhD and maintain a house and stay active in your church? It's like, yeah, I just go to Julie. No, Julie no, runs we everything. work together. No, no communicate communication. That really is a team communication. Thing. It really is. You told me if you could give anyone advice on getting through a PhD program, that was to become best friends with the oh, secretaries. Absolutely. So we have two secretaries in our department and they make my life so easy because I take time to go in and chat with them, like buy them a candy bar every once in a while and just show them that I appreciate them. That will get you so far in life. Yeah, they've been uh, so helpful to Landon. So what is our end goal? To be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, it really is. Um, and that's one reason when I look at medical school why I, I'm kind of glad it didn't end up working out because the lifestyle of a physician is very, very demanding. My end goal career-wise is to be a professor, to research and teach, and that is a lot more flexible of a career. I don't have to be on call for weekends. I don't have to miss birthdays and holidays. It seems a little more the ideal The hiccup me. and all these extra years, I think it's going to be worth it because, yeah, the lifestyle of a professor awesome so yep. totally worth it do we want to end up in utah maybe we'll see i think it would be great to be back in utah because that's where our families are but if we get out to kansas city and we just find that we like that program and we like it so much out there and they offer us a job we might stay there yeah it just depends on where we find a job where you find a job is where we'll end up but we are not sure yet we've gotten that asked a lot and we're like nothing is set in stone right now Next is why are we here and why are you guys here? Why are you following us? We have been vlogging for eight years. We have shown the highs, the lows, and I guess I look at other influencers and I see like their big pretty houses and they're like either they full-time social media and that's it. And so we're just a little bit different in the sense that yeah, I guess we're social media influencers even though I hate that term. <laughs> <laughs> but we're normal. I want to say we're normal. We have a normal house. We have a normal life. We're busy. But in, a, in the same sense, we're abnormal in the sense that we are, we're doing this, we're documenting this and sharing our lives with you. At the same time, it's not our full-time job. We have school and other career and other things going on in our lives that make it 
unique, I think. Um, someone asked me the other day, like, so what do you do? What's your niche? And I'm like, I don't have a niche. I don't do just one thing. So if you're following along, you're going to get a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of cooking, a little bit of family life. Family. And... I just yeah. is fun to show, share our life with you guys. And some of you, a lot of you have been along since the very beginning. And mm -hmm. I want to say thank you for sticking around. Yeah. You make our lives possible, so we couldn't do this without you. We appreciate you being here. Yep. I think that's it. If you yep. have any questions for us, just ask down below. Okay. We're going to get back to packing. Okay. Teamwork makes this dream work. <laughs>